In this video, I will be using two chairs, one to sit on and the other as a prop. Let's correct our posture. Rotate your shoulders and lengthen your spine. Let us start with warming our legs first. Bend your knees and bring them closer to your tummy and your chest. Just take it easy at first and finding that comfort level, warm up your legs, your knees, your glutes, your hamstrings. Now we're going to tap our toes on top of the front of your chair, one leg at a time. If you need to guide your leg with your hands, please do so. And let's start tapping continuously, one leg at a time. Here you're going, you are lifting your legs and resting your toes on the chair. And bring them down slowly to the floor. Now we're going to stretch your leg as well. So tap your chair at first and then straighten your leg. Very good. Take it easy. Take your time and get comfortable in this movement. If you feel that you need to rest or if you need to continue with these movements even longer, pause the video and come back to it again. Then continue. Take a moment of rest right here. Allow your legs to rest. Grab your chair again and make sure that you widen the distance between your knees. Now slowly, you're going to lift your leg up from the outside of your chair in front of you and rest on the chair. Take your time and if this is uncomfortable, you can use your hands also to guide your legs to move up and allow yourselves to continue with these movements. Very nice. And you can also, when you find that flexibility is there, you can always use your legs and lift your legs independently. It's really fun activity. Let's take a moment of rest right here and prepare for the next one. Now we're going to just the same way, bring your leg onto the chair and allow your spine to lengthen even more. Try to allow your neck to be aligned with your back and if you want to get into a forward bend, you may also allow yourself to slightly move closer towards your knee. Make sure that you press down your knee towards the floor and just rest your arms on the chair to support your back. Now slowly return to an upright position and swap to the other side. Always move carefully just the way you prefer. Your comfort is important. Please don't rush into any movement at any time. Enjoy lengthening your spine here and just simply rest. Slowly return to an upright position. And let's do that again.
adjust and modify whenever you need to. Make these movement enjoyable and soothing for you. Making sure that we get both sides, both legs efficiently stretched and allow it to rest. Very nice. Again, return back to an upright position. Feel the comfort in your seat, in your balance, and you find that comfort all over your torso. Now bring your ankle, your left ankle, your left foot onto the chair. If not, just simply bring the chair in front of you closer so you can rest your knee. And if you still need a support, you can have a blanket underneath your knee or a block. Now simply keeping your back nice and long as you rest your hand on your chair and stretch with the other arm nice and wide on your right and to your left. Remember each side of the stretch will feel differently so make sure that you are being careful be mindful how you stretch on each side you're getting a gentle twist around your torso very nice move smoothly and use your breath as you move to your right and as you move to your left Come back to a resting point and gently slide your chair as you simply allow yourself to lower yourself over your knee. You can grab your back of your seat in front of you and enjoy that stretch. It is very soothing if you can stay there for a longer period of time. It's up to you. Now bring your right foot onto your chair, closer to your thigh and get comfortable in your seat. Make sure that you are comfortable. Here I would like to move to the other side and so you can see how I am working on my right leg from this angle. Very nice. Always take your time to get comfortable in your posture before you start stretching and moving. Adjust your legs, your seat, and now you can stretch your arms just above your back of your chair. And find those gentle stretches and smooth side stretch enjoyable you move as far as you feel comfortable but continue to stretch anyways again let's rest our back just above your knee lower yourselves stretch your arms to your comfort level and see what feels good to you either on top of your chair or anywhere on your chair you are loosening up your hips your thighs and relaxing your back very nice return to my other chair again 
Make sure that you are comfortable in your seat before you move to the next movement. Get comfortable in your seat and make sure that your chair is sturdy, that you're sitting on and safe. Now once you bring both your legs, both your feet on the chair in front of you, you can stretch your feet farther away or closer in the center of your chair or slightly to the edge. <laughs> Also, you can have it on top of the chair that you're sitting on, but here I would like to just rest my feet on the front of the chair in front of me and allow my elbows to be out over my shins to stretch and lower yourselves to enjoy as you relax your shoulders and relax your back. Slowly return to a seated position. Now grab your ankles and push with your elbows to inside of your thighs, near your knees. So you're kind of gently nudging your knees towards the floor as you lengthen your spine, moving your head towards your ankles. Come on right back up and grab your chair if you like. Let those knees relax as you Extend your spine and your arms to grab the chair wherever it feels good. I really enjoy stretching my arms as well. So you do the same or make it comfortable for you and slowly come on up right back in a seated position. Very nice. Let's just relax and adjust your seat. Bring your feet onto the chair to find that comfort. And see if you can just stretch your legs slightly higher than your knees and your thighs. So I am just adjusting my seat, my prop chair, and just stretching my legs, simply tapping on the back of the seat. And you can do the same or you can just modify your stretch however you wish and continue remember if you need to rest you may do so or just hold your leg in that position for a moment or two and then move it's always a good idea to be creative as you go along with your stretches. Again, one more time, lengthening our spine and checking our alignments. Use your full breath. Now let's bring our feet back to the floor. Here I am releasing my chair away from me, slightly away. And let's tap with our toes. Slightly different than we worked on earlier. One foot down, the other one is up. And it's also a fun activity. Continue and do it as long as you like. And you want to really activate your abdominal muscles. Keep your back nice and long and continue. Now, just lifting your legs up and back to the chair. This time you will feel that you have more flexibility in your legs. Hopefully you might find this easier this time. Very nice. Let's stretch one more time. Extend your arms all the way out and see how you feel. Enjoy that full breath. Inhale and exhale. Slowly. Return to a seated position. I hope you practice these fun activities every day to maintain flexibility. 
Namaste.